Crime analytics really are the future of policing here today now. The times where we use crime analytics are the, are the pattern crimes, the series of crimes. And where the analytics takes us is what is the MO, when are they happening, how are they happening, what tools are, are they doing, do we have video, can we pull together video, pull together suspect descriptions and all of those link together and point us in a direction. What our students are going to be doing is they're going to be learning to fill roles that were traditionally filled by uniformed police officers and I think they're going to be bringing their own particular interests and expertise to bear. So they're going to be learning how to process and analyze information. They're going to learn how to apply um, analytics to day-to-day uh, -day investigations and more often than not to major cases. There is a very high demand we're hearing from our partners with the uh, Greater Sudbury Police Service, with, uh, with the Ontario Provincial Police who hire a great number of analysts. So there's a large demand and the key is finding people who know what they're getting into, who understand that analytics is uh, not simply a thinking person's job, but certainly it's a job for someone who is prepared to uh, problem solve and manage data in an effective and organized way. The business of policing now encompasses a policing family and the policing family isn't just uh, frontline officers in uniform. Uh, these are professionals that uh, work uh, behind the scenes, work in the offices. Uh, they truly are uh, data mining and drilling down to give the information into the hands of the investigators that can act on it.